Hello everyone, I'm Tuco and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today we are going to improve our barracks because right now all we have are some training um, archery, you know, archery training areas, uh, a couple beds, and one armor stand. We need more than that. Come on, and this is supposed to be a barracks. We need weapon racks all around. So, we do have quite a few weapon racks uh, stored up. Honestly, we have quite a few made up, quite a few silver ones. So we'll have weapon racks, wow, we, we do have quite a few. We'll put some right in the middle here, and then we'll put like one here and there, right there, one right there. And then we also need some chests, uh, containers, so that they can store all their stuff in, because they, they, they need to store their stuff. Obviously, they, I mean, who wants to just leave it out there? So I'll just place it, a whole bunch of containers along this side here, since we have tons of containers, I mean, like, Literally, we, we have tons. Uh, I will also place another weapon rack like, like this. And then armor stand, we'll place an armor stand here, armor stand here, and one here. And needs armor stand. Okay, so do we, we don't have any more. All right, that's fine because they still have to place everything and that'll be good. Uh, why is it ready to be split? Okay, that's cool. All right, so. We do have a lot of trees ready to be chopped down. Doesn't look like anybody's chopping them down, but that's fine. We we still have a lot of wood, which is good. And hopefully that'll last us for some time. All right, so you guys are getting this all done. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to get all that done. Uh, well, I guess they they can work finish on this and then they can get over here once I place everything. All right, that'll be good. So where are our miners? Just wanting to, oh, wow. You guys are amazing. Look at how, look, look at all this. What, what even is that? I don't know. Is that cobalt? Yeah, it is cobalt. Hmm. Look at them go. Wow, you guys are doing really well. Sweet, look at them go. They're just plowing through all this. Sweet, guys, just keep mining. All right, so they went all the way down here. No... No magma C, unfortunately. Oh, that's so bad. War dog, yes. Now we can assign it. Now we can assign that war dog to a chain. Uh, and so what, what that'll do is uh, we'll stop anything for evil from just walk, walking in and killing my populace. First, they'll mess with the dogs and then move on. So that'll be good. Uh, if I can find the war dog. There you are. Assign war dog. And... We're going to assign another war dog here, and we're going to assign this one. Perfect. And then the other ones we'll assign to, like, our militia captains, and maybe we'll assign one to Tuco, uh, because he is our mayor, and we don't want him to die. And maybe a couple to the uh, all the other um, named dwarves as well. Um, I thought he was laid to rest. Why are you carrying him? Ingars the second, place in tune. All right. Fine, go ahead, place that guy in tomb. Nice. All right, so a bard is visiting. How wonderful. How exquisite. All right, so these dogs should go over to their places. Um, hello? Guys? War dogs? Looks like they're following that guy. Is that guy the trainer? Regoth. Regoth. Uh, you are a trainer because they might follow the trainer everywhere he goes. Yeah, he is. Oh, so I need I need him to, to um, place them down here. So we do have uh, a war dog. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should assign that. We should assign that war dog. Uh, I'll assign it to Tuco this time. So Tuco, expedition leader. Um, preferences, he work dogs. We're gonna assign a war dog just to make sure you don't die uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna sign should we sign a couple to Maflo I think we should Maflo is kind of lonely all the time being a vampire and just an, an immortal uh, eternal being so let's assign some to Maflo or we'll sign one we'll sign one to Maflo and uh, let's see here, Mafo. There you are, Z. Whoa, we've got we got some nice guys down there. Okay, so 
You already have one more beast assigned. Do you? Yeah. You are no no you don't. You don't have a war beast assigned. Not well now you have two. Uh <laughs> uh let's see here. Who who else should we assign people to? Um I'm thinking Matthew. Is, is Matthew one of our No, Matthew's not one of our commanders. But he's the sheriff. But he is the sheriff. Um we should assign them to mil to the militia captains. Uh, you already have two war beasts assigned. No, you don't. I know that for sure, certain. You work animals. You have a hunting beast assigned to you. Why a hunting beast? You had a war dog. Yeah, there you go. Proper dog, not a hunting beast. No, um, but we're going to assign them all to the uh, militia captains or commanders. Mainly because they they need militia captains. Oh, shoot. Where where'd you go, Wayne's? Where'd Wayne's go? No. I don't know. Wayne's, where are you? I don't see you. Wayne's, where are you? I don't see him. Uh, hello? Wayne's, where'd you go? I don't know where he went. Actually, I'll go this way. Alright, militia commander station. Okay. Um... Yeah, he has nothing assigned. So we'll assign two war dogs to him. That'll be good. And then we have two more war dogs, I think. No, I don't I don't think we do. The the other ones are being chained, I think. Those other two, they're being chained. Uh to the entrance, which will be good. Actually, let's check on something real quick. Uh where are miners? Yeah, they're still digging. Okay. Um just tell me when you, you hit warm stone, because that means that there's lava nearby. In the Well, magma, not lava. Magma. And that'd be very good. So tell me when you guys hit magma. That, that'd be great. I hope I hope they hit, hit magma soon. That way we don't need <laughs> refined coal. Uh, we need so much refined coal. It's terrible. And we don't have any coal uh, to refine. So it's not that great at all. So, uh, but that's the only issue that we have is refined coal. We need refined coal and also more um, more dorms, if you will, more dorms. This one's actually ready. We can make that a bedroom. And we shall assign it to, I, I don't know. Uh, you guys, no, or just you, fine. All right, so we, we still need the doors to be placed and that'll be good. I think they'll place it. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, so where are engravers? You're, you're still storing stuff. I don't know why. Why are you storing stuff? I think I put them on refuse. That's what I did. Well, let's take them off refuse because we don't need them on refuse anymore. Um, Over. Yeah, put them on refuse for the reason that we had all those, um, all that miasma in that, in our old tavern. And that, that wasn't very good at all. So I put him on refuse, but now that's all he's doing. So I, I got rid of that for him. And now he should be good. He should be good. All right, so yeah, let's just, uh, I guess, sit back and enjoy the show and watch to see uh, what exactly happens here. Because a lot of different things could happen in scenarios like this. Like, we just keep growing and growing and growing. For a whole year without any sort of interactions with any monsters. Or then there's the other option where all we get is bombarded by monsters. Or then, you know, there's one more, which is just kind of medium. Uh, soldiering. Sug. Sug. Why are you, Sug? Lasher. I love lashers, but no, sorry. I, I just need archers and march dwarves, which will be good to take down the rock. However, if all I'm getting are lashers, well, that's not very good. All right, you struck rock crystal. Hmm. Moonstone. Moonstone. Whoa, I just struck a lot of stuff. Look at all that. Where, where did I strike it? Oh, 
Is someone exploring the cave caves? Wait, what are you? Oh, trodolites. Okay, fine. There's trodolites. Uh, giant cardinals. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. All we're getting are trodolites. Okay, a couple hungry heads. A couple hungry heads. Nothing that bad. Is someone exploring the caverns? Because I didn't order them to do so. So they just found moonstone and all kinds of stuff. Hmm. I wonder. Goshenite, okay. Goshenite, that's fine. Uh, again, what are you doing down here, buddy? Assign a trained animal. What? I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't even know, and I don't even—I don't even care. He's, he doesn't even do his job. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, can't because of the building site. I don't understand that. Um, I do not understand that. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like they found any um anything yet. Doesn't look like they have, which isn't very good. Uh, because we do need stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. Wow, that's a lot of different stuff. Holy moly. Uh, wow. <laughs> that is a lot. Well, wait, where, where are you guys even finding all this? You know, I think it's my, my, whatchamacallit, my, uh, I don't even know what you'd call them. My uh, bookkeeper, he's just wandering the caves, finding all this stuff for me. Well, maybe you'll find some, uh, let's see, what does he find? Smoky Quartz, Goshenite. Maybe you'll find coal for me. If you find coal, that'd be great, not cobalt, but coal itself. Yeah, that, that'd be very nice if you could find some coal for me. That'd be, that'd be awesome. He's just continuously exploring these caverns. I don't understand it, but um, good for him. Or is it that cat? Is that cat exploring the cabins for me? It would be hilarious if that was true. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like there's a lot more to this cabin than I thought. Well, there, there are. There, there's always a lot more. But um, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big cavern. This is a big cavern. Uh, that that cat is exploring. I don't even know why the cat's exploring it, but uh, good for that cat. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Bismuth Knight? Bismuth. Okay, nice, nice. Alright, so should we actually explore this cavern? I'm wondering. Uh, it's our, it's the deep's cavern. We do have access to it. Hmm. <laughs> Let's move our, you know what? We might find something very nice down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our squad. We're going to take our lone vampire and we are going to see what exactly we have down here. So move to here. And we're, we're just going to wait and we're just going to, we're just going to explore these caverns with our vampire and see what exactly we can find. Because if we find some nice... Or, I mean, that's pretty good. That, that would be pretty good. Why are you guys canceling stuff? I, I don't understand. Why are you guys canceling? Why, why are you guys canceling all this? I don't, don't understand. Whatever. Fine. Do, do what you guys want. Uh, I gotta find... I gotta follow my... Uh, my... Uh, what, what do you call them? Um, unreachable location. Wait, what? It's an unreachable location. Oh, probably because it's in the dark. That's probably it. Probably because it's in the dark. All right, so we'll go the move to this place. Should be going now. Should be. Uh, Maflo station. Okay, so Maflo is coming. She is coming. Let's watch her come.
Everything, everyone's being interrupted by giant cardinals. It's hilarious. All right, but, you know, not the best. Uh, oh, but they're all high in the sky. I don't know why they're so angry about it. Anyway, we'll wait for uh, the vampire to come down here, and we'll go exploring the depths and the darkness of the underground caverns, and we'll see what kind of strange things we can find. Hopefully nothing too bad, but uh, we'll see what we can find. So why, why aren't you moving? Ah, here, here she comes. Boy, you're slow. What do you have? I just want to make sure that she has some stuff. Uh, let's see here. Inventory. Um, iron chain leggings. Okay. That's good. And nothing else. Where's your weapon? <laughs> I don't understand these dwarves. They don't have weapons. I don't understand. Well, if worst comes to worst, she, she can just she can just punch her way out of things. It'll be fine. It'll be completely fine. Nothing's to worry. We just might lose a vampire. That's all. <laughs> um, all right. So, come on. Where are you going? Oh, you have to go up a slope. All right. <clears throat> all right. So. She's going to come down here and hopefully explore some things for us and figure out what exactly we've got down here. Ooh, nice. Opened up. All right, so let's actually move her. Um, let's see here. No. Squad D. Move to here. Move to there, and we'll check it out and see what we have. Ooh, sweet. This is opening up. Nice. There's something over there. So hopefully you can find some stuff. Hey, I, I told you to move. Hello? Just move. Where are you going? Oh, you're fighting a hungry head. Okay, that's fine. Go fight that hungry head. Oh, there are two of them. Hmm. And all you have is a fist. I hate this. Why do you only have a fist? Um, bites the militia captain in the lower leg, bruising the fat through the iron chain leggings. I've been away from people for a long time. I'm lonely. Yes, I know that. I know that. But that's fine. You're, you're a vampire. You live forever. <laughs> Alright, but I hope... I hope... Why, why doesn't she have a weapon? I don't understand this. What's your equipment like? <clears throat> I wonder. Um, missing item? What? Missing item? No, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Your weapon is going to be a war hammer. I told you that a million times. So get a war hammer. Uh, leather armor, I guess. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I got something in my throat. All right. Whoa, you killed a hungry head with your fist. That's pretty good. Now get the other one. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. I underestimate uh, vampires. They're pretty strong. <coughs> mm, Sorry about that, guys. All right, so I don't even know where she's going. Where are you going, Mafo? I don't even know where she went. Uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, we gotta find her then. Um, oh, pick up com equipment. Okay. So she is going back to grab her equipment because I told her to because she she forgot it. Oh, someone was taken by a fey mood. Wait a minute, who was it? Who's taking my fame mood? The other Mafo. The other Mafo. The carpenter. Withdraws from society. Ooh, claim claimed a uh, workbench. That's good. That's good. That's very good. All right. So uh, I'm going to check that. Ooh, wow. Wow. Look at our storage here. Is that leather armor? That is leather armor. How nice. We got leather. We've got, we've got leather. Yeah. Can't even speak. We have leather armor now. There we go. That's a, that's a better. All right. So, um, 
Leather leggings? Let's make some leather leggings. No, I don't want to make a musical instrument. I want to make some leather leggings. Uh, make a lot of those. Sure, why not? Or is it just under construction of a bed? Oh, how nice. All right, let's check on the math flow again, because I really want to explore these caverns a little bit more and see what we have there. Okay, so she's just going up to uh, grab her equipment because she doesn't have any of it, and I just told her go get, go grab a warhammer, go grab some leather armor, which we have. I think she'll be good after that. Um, I think so. Wow, we have a lot of what is all this? Zinc bars. Uh, we have some steel bars, and we have bismuth bars, and a lot of wheelbarrows too, and thrones, and I don't even know what that is. Blocks, a lot of blocks as well. And shields and other stuff as well. Wait, is that, is that gold? No, this one's bronze, all right. All right, copper, and what is that? Relon ball, and I don't even know what that is. <laughs> all right, so the weather is cleared, oh, that's nice. All right, so, I'm trying to think of what we need. Wait, what? Cook cancels return kill. Dangerous terrain. What are you? Excuse me? Oh, I think he was going after the, uh, the hungry head, I believe. I think he's going after the hungry head. All right, so we'll just leave it at that, I guess, and just keep going. Um... Because we're, we're still waiting on Mafo for grabbing material or equipment. And that'll be good once she does have all her equipment. Alright, so I really like the way this stockpile looks. Oh, it looks so much nicer and neater than the other one. I mean, you look at this. It's so nice and neat. Then you look at the other one. It's just a jumbled pile of bins and barrels and random rocks. <laughs> it looks terrible. Oh, it really does. Alright, so who's taken by the fame mood again? Uh, oh, it hasn't, okay, so she's still looking, well, the other Maflo is still looking for all the materials, hopefully we'll grab all the materials soon enough. In the meantime, uh, you're claimed already, are you claimed? No. In the meantime, let's claim this room, uh, for someone, some lucky person who wins the lottery, lottery, no, not those guys, the jeweler, the jeweler and the swords dwarf, nice. All right, so I actually don't really have a jewelry area. Uh, we might make one. We might make one. Uh, but not after our digging guys are done. After our uh, miners are done. Maybe. Maybe after our miners are done. They haven't done the, the ones down here yet. Uh, so they're doing the top ones first. Makes sense. You know, they do the top ones first. But I need them to do the bottom ones as well, like the ones that are super far down. Like uh, these ones down here, I need them to do those. Alright, so, where's my phone now? Uh, socializing? You can't socialize. You can't socialize. That's illegal. No. Uh, but she, she isn't supposed to be socializing. She's supposed to be exploring the caverns for me. Alright, D. And move enter and get on it mafo all right mafo should do that uh and we, we should explore more of these caves that way we know you know what's down here and when you know forgotten beasts are coming what are you doing bookkeeper this bookkeeper must must be have a death sentence on must want to die for some reason do you want to die bookkeeper because you're just you're just wandering I don't even know what the bookkeeper's doing. Going to go fight a hungry head. No. No, I know what the bookkeeper was doing. The bookkeeper was grabbing refuse for some reason. Oh, I had the bookkeeper on refuse collecting. Uh, my mistake. My mistake. Sorry, dwarves. All right, so we'll, we'll get him off that, and then we'll, I guess, let him have it against the uh, hungry head. All right, so now he's going back up. All right, that's good. Um, listen to story. No, 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 no. No, you, you're not supposed to do that. 
Ah. Of course you're listening to a story. That's that's just what you do. Interactivity. Um It's how the human so and so became a priest of the wooden faith. Huh. Alright, I guess I'll just let you do that and we'll just wander through the tavern a little bit, I guess. Interrupted by Hungry Head. Yeah, we got quite a few Hungry Heads around here. Um, this still needs to be smoothed out. However, everything else is being smoothed out first. Um, ooh, we got a Mysterious Construction. Nice, nice. That's very good. So now we can... Uh, now that can be done, and that'll be very good. All right, so we'll just keep assigning bedrooms, I guess, <laughs> while we're at it. Assign it to a fishery worker, why not? Oh, wait a minute. Are all those suspended? Those are all sus suspended. I'm not sure why our doors are suspending so much, so so many things. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, maybe they didn't have wood at the time, or the rocks, I don't know. I have to look into that uh, next episode. All right, so our engravers are going to work, uh, might as well unpause it. And they should be doing some pretty good work, honestly. All right, so, Actually, I want to check to see if those uh, if those dogs are chained there now. Are you guys chained there? You're chained. I think they are. I think yeah, they're chained. They're chained there. Llama corpse. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so that should be good. And the crossbow is all loaded and ready to go whenever we need it to. Perfect. Swords dwarf is visiting, and our food stores are going crazy. I mean, let me see here. What's our food stores? Yeah, that's a lot of food. <laughs> that is honestly quite a lot of food. All right, so that is going really, really well. Our population is soaring. Um, everything's everything's going really well because this uh, this whole um, batch of seven episodes, which I normally do. I normally do seven episodes um, every weekend, but today I'm actually doing it on Friday instead of Saturday like I normally do it. However, in this batch... We really haven't been attacked by anything. We haven't. We've just kind of been growing and growing pretty fast, honestly. Uh, our, our population has been growing really, really large. Uh, actually, are we making any mugs? Are we making any mugs at all? I don't think we are. Coffers, tables, and thrones. Well, let's cancel the throne. Well, actually, you know what? That, that isn't where I make mugs, is it? No, it is not. Oh, I make it there. Uh, make wooden books. Bolts. Okay, that's good. All right. It works secretly. Okay. So, uh, our carpenter is now working on a secret sort of thing. <laughs> so, I think we'll wait till uh, he finishes, and then we'll, well and, and then we'll end the episode here. Uh, actually, what, what are you thinking? I'd like to know. What are you thinking? Not not view job. Doesn't feel like anything. I should be unable to acquire something. Grieved at somebody's death. Grieved at somebody's death. Um, he's somewhat greasy. Wavy hair is extremely long. His ears have small lobes. His bronze eyes are slightly wide set. His nose is slightly hooked. His hair is burnt umber. His skin is pale pink. He's very quick to tire. He also has poor empathy. <laughs> He has a great ability to focus and feel for music. Hmm. Nice, a musician. How oh, nice. All right, so we'll just let that we'll just let that guy keep going. Uh, we'll check on Mafo. Still socializing. Mm -hmm. Don't understand that. Just stop. Stop socializing, person. Stop socializing. Uh. Well, I I think I know why. Uh, Mafo is socializing. Mafo, she hasn't socialized in ages. So, I guess it's good. I guess it's good. Uh, we have plenty of plenty of people in our tavern. I mean, our tavern is the hub of awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, our tavern is the hub of awesomeness. Ooh, petition. Soldiering. Destus. Mm, Destus. Destus. I don't see you, Destus. Um, Destus. I still don't see you. Mm hmm. I do not see you. That's this. Human Bowman. Yes, I will accept you. Approve. 
Military. And... Bestus. Human Bowman. Perfect. So all of our squads are now completely 100% full. Uh, we do not need any more mercenaries, although we might acquire some. Possibly? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we need. Uh, but it's honestly been very good because no one's really died at all. Actually, no one has died. Uh, which is very surprising, honestly. <laughs> it's very, well, actually, no. Someone did die. Um, who was it? It was Nish. Nish something, our wrestler, who died from uh, our vampire. Uh, draining them of blood. <laughs> but, uh, interrupted by a what? Cardinals? More car cardinals? I don't understand these. These cardinals are, for some reason, interrupting them. When they're, like, way up here in the sky and, like, way, way over here. I did it doesn't make sense. How are they interrupting you? They're in the sky. Like, super, super far away. I don't know. I have no clue. At all. How that, how that works. At all. All right, so our dogs are trained there, our uh, war dogs. Do we have, we probably have a war dog just rummaging around, I bet. Uh, no job. How do you have no job, Engraver? Get to work. We have one idler who's steady. Who's that idler? The jeweler. Yep, of course it's the jeweler. Well, actually, let's make a jeweler's, well, hmm. We can, but... Well, let's see who the jeweler is. Who's the jeweler? Who's the jeweler? I think you're the jeweler, right? Right? Or maybe it's you. Are you the jeweler? I think you're the jeweler. Yeah, you're the jeweler. Uh, horrified after witnessing a, de a death. All right, so you are a jeweler. Um, well, we could make... Actually, you know what? We are going to make a jeweler's workshop. I don't know what you can do with that. Uh, that's super productive, except adding worth to your um, place, your uh, fortress. So I um, might as well make it, I guess, just for now. All right, so the jeweler should get on the making of that, hopefully. And I think you should be done pretty soon, Mathlo. The other Mathlo, not the vampire Mathlo. Uh, you should get done pretty soon. Pretty soon, I hope. I hope. It's taking him a while. And the other Maflo is still still socializing. Yep. Alright. Well, I guess that's fine. That's fine. You guys digging? Yes, you are. Alright, so... How goes the digging, exactly? Yeah, pretty well. It's going pretty good. They've dug out quite a bit. They're going to keep on digging. They have to. They have to find this magma or else we can't smell anything. Because we don't have refined coal, which is really bad. Uh, but they should get that done. Hmm. Eventually. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, an episode of really just uh, managing and just watching our dwarves grow the fortress and just expand it, really. It, it's been a really fun episode doing so. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, I'm Tuco. God bless. I'll see you next time.